Hello everyone and welcome to Descent Journeys in the Dark 2nd Edition. I am going to go through Arid's plot deck, Dark Illusions. So, we start off with Misdirections. Hmm. Okay, without the S because I accidentally put an S on the end. Well, there you have it. Right, exhaust this card when a monster performs an attack that is a miss. Reroll the attack die. Oh, that's a very good um, card already. If the monster has the cursed monster trait, you may also reroll one power die. Hmm, okay. Um, if the attack deals at least one damage after the defensive roll, the monster that performed the attack may move one space. And it only takes one to activate. So, right off the back, you have a very, very good card automatically. And if it's a cursed monster, ah, you could also re-roll a power dust if you wish to or not. So, that's a very good start. Hopefully it's like that with all the others. Oh, Tainted Blood. One to buy it. Use this card after setup of an encounter and to choose one of your monster groups. Okay. Uh, during this encounter, that monster group gains the cursed monster trait. Place one threat token from the supply uh, on the group. Uh, as a reminder, it's one to activate. Okay, so um, most of these cards kind of requires it to be a cursed monster trait. So there's a card that allows you to give it a curse if you wish to. Alright, next one. Intrite Schemes. Yes, in choice schemes. One to buy of this interstrike schemes. <laughs> oh, what am I on? Right, so anyway, um, during the choose next quest step of the campaign phase, each time you would choose the next quest to be played, you may force the heroes to choose which quest will be played next. If you do, gain free threat tokens. So, uh, not to use. Uh, it can easily come in handy, especially if you all just want to be lazy and you, if you keep winning, just go, no, go ahead, you, you choose, you choose, no, you choose, and you just keep adding more threat for you. That's as long as you do actually win. That's the only downside. Well, of course, you've got to at least win one, hopefully. Well, anyway. Malediction. Two to buy. Exhaust this card at the end of your turn. Hmm, okay. While this card is exhausted, each attack that targets a monster with the cursed monster trait gains plus one damage. Oh, okay, so... Um, okay. So... Okay. Heroes would deal... Plus one damage. Right, after resolving each of those attacks, the attacking hero suffers one damage and one fatigue. One to use. Okay, so Malediction is actually really, really good. In fact, it could be quite fun uh, to go ahead and use the uh, Tainted Blood on things that you think is going to get in the way and they've got to kill them. So, there, there's always an upside. Mirage. Two to buy. Exhausted card when a hero resolves an attack that does not deal at least one damage after the defense roll. Hmm. Okay. Remove one monster affected by this attack from the map and place it in an empty space within the free space of the original space. If that monster has a curse monster trait, the attacking hero suffers one fatigue. One to use. Huh. So, you're going to place all your bet just to uh, deal no damage. Well, it's not really placing a bet because it, 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 it literally says like, after defense roll. So, uh, and all it is is to m move three spaces. Well, not really move, it's more like place. Uh, and if it's cursed, then one fatigue. Uh, not really all that worth it, I think. Uh, I guess that could be left at home. Right, next one. 
Enthrall, to the buy. Exorcist is a card at the start of your turn to choose one monster. Each hero in the monster's line of sight. Test willpower. If the monster has a cursed monster trait, add one shield to result of each test. You may move each hero who fails two spaces and it's one to use, which uh, you can move them into pits or lava, uh, or if there is no pits or lava, then it's more like if the heroes need to get to point A, point B, you can move them a bit more closer to point A. Therefore, make them move away from their own objective. That's if they fail though. That's it, if they fail. Of course, when it comes down to curse, you can always use the Tainted Blood to give um, the specific monster curse, just in case. Or maybe not, who knows. Uh, I myself is like, eh, could be okay. Might not be, all depends on how good their willpower is. Right, so the next one is Phantasm, it's free to buy. Exhausted card, when a hero attacks a mon master monster with a cursed monster trait, before dice are rolled. Okay. Why this card is exhausted, each attack that targets that monster must roll free range in addition to any other range requirements, or the attack is a miss. It's one to activate. This could have potentials, uh, could also have potentials of being ah, uh, but having the free extra range could make a huge difference. It might not make a huge difference. It all depends. Uh, it's just before dice are rolled and all that. Uh, I don't quite like it when it comes down to when dice are rolled because if their hero has already rolled an X then it's like oh dear is that a shame or if they didn't do a lot more damage and uh, you've rolled a lot more shields and yet again it's it can be a waste it is only one to use though but it's free to buy the card so it's entirely up to you um, it, it may be okay it's more like when it comes down to um, uh, the master monster being a, a main target where the heroes must kill it you know, for their quest. But other than that, uh, uh, it, it may be okay, may not be. Uh, I'd probably just ignore it. Though. And now we come to Darkness Falls, which is free to buy. Exhaust this card at the start of your turn till the start of your next turn. Line of sight for range attacks can only be measured up to a range of two. Monsters with the cursed monster trait, lieutenants, and agents are not affected by the card. Uh, this card does not refresh as normal. Refresh this card at the end of each encounter. Mm -hmm. And it's one to use. Um, okay, this can be very, very interesting. Uh, it's probably helpful if the heroes are a lot of range. If they're not ranged, then this card just you won't you won't get it at all. But apart from that, yeah, uh, I think it's going to be a fun card. It, it will be a fun card. It just all depends on when and the well when you use it and how you use it and if you want to use it. Right, next one we have The Ritual Continues for to buy. Mm. Okay, The Ritual, eh? At the start of each encounter, that's nice, place fatigue tokens on this card equal to the number of heroes. Okay, each of your master monster gains. Action, discard one fatigue token from The Ritual Continues. Okay, right. At the end of each encounter, if there are no fatigue tokens on this card, gain two threat tokens. Then discard all tokens from the card if there is any, and it's not to use. So this card literally gives you, uh, well, threat tokens, two. Hmm, mm, okay. End of each encounter. This should be actually quite easy to, to do. So, um, yeah, get it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. 
we come to the last card, which of course is uh, Summon Arid. Read by Exhaust this card after setup, encounter, and choose one open group. Replace one master and minion monster in that group. Uh, arid, uh, if the agent. <laughs> Sorry, if the Arid Agent is defeated, return a card to the bot deck, and you cannot use this card in any quest that uses Arid or Queen Arid left in it. Do to activate. Okay, so what does Arid do? Well, the Act 1 version of her is Contempt, uh, as an action for Despair, Surge plus 2 for health, okay, health, for health, for movement. Oh. Uh, and so, so defense. Okay. Uh, range blue and yellow. Contempt. Each time Arid performs an attack, the target's a hero with a condition card. That attack gains plus one damage. Nice. Despair. Each hero, each hero mm -hmm, within three spaces of Arid, tests willpower. Each hero that fails suffers two fatigue. And that's it. So, um, huh. The contempt thing could be quite. Not all that great if there's no condition. Okay, so what about the Act 2 version of her then? So she's got Contempt and uh, Despair again. She's got Cursed Assault. Double Surge plus 3. Huh. Why is it Double Surge? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Well, moving four. Uh, okay, health, yeah. That's not bad. And, uh, good defense-ish. Uh, range is blue, yellow, yellow. So, uh, again with Contempt and there's Despair. Curse of Salt though. Perform an attack that targets each hero in Arid's line of sight. If insufficient range is rolled for any one target, the entire attack is a miss. Or well, considering that the heroes would probably be more like ganging up on her, you know, uh, being more surrounded in a small area, I think that's not going to be much of a problem. Well, now it just comes to the model herself. So here she is in all of her spookiness, I guess. Um, you know, so not that bad. It's just like, yep, yep, yep. I'm a sorceress, just minding my own business. Yeah, uh, oh, okay. There's, seriously, there's nothing really going on with this model. She's just all wrapped up. That was a pun. Well, anyway, what do I think of this bot deck? I think it could actually go quite well. All depends on the, uh, the heroes. Uh, that, that's really all it all depends on. And how you can actually um, deal with this yourself. It's more to do with um, some nice little trickery here and there. Uh, well, you know, it's it's all right. It's not bad. Could be better though. That's what I think. It just could be a bit more better. But anyway, hey ho! It's an it's uh, another deck that could go either way. There's some very interesting cards there, by the way. Uh, most of them to deal with cursed and um, getting more expansions help getting the cursed creatures into play. So if you Starting up, uh, just sort of starting up with this game, I wouldn't recommend getting her at all. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, otherwise, uh, wait until you actually have a few more monsters that has a curse group, and then your choices can be a lot more better when it comes down to picking what you want. And if you uh, really want to use Tainted Bloods to give something the curse trait, then yeah do it it's like that's what it's there for well anyway until next time thank you very much bye